What is going on my fellow YouTube Iranians? My name is Skrunt and today we are back on some MX vs ATV All Out. So in this video I just kind of wanted to touch base on what MX vs ATV has been up to. Um, kind of do like a little channel update I guess on what I'm going to be doing. And uh, so today we're just doing a little live commentary while doing an online match. This is a waypoint so uh, I'm actually kind of excited because I have not done a waypoint race in a very long time ever since like series mode uh, i know it's only up against one guy but the lobby might fill out who knows especially if it changes to like national or supercross it'll fill out uh but yeah today i just kind of wanted to relax a little bit and uh talk about everything that's kind of going on with mx versus atv because they have announced a couple of things and i also have an update on like a, a series mode a ranked mode uh which is good so Basically, the first thing that I want to uh, announce is that the two-stroke sounds are getting an update. I think a lot of people know that by now, uh, but they are getting a serious update. They have provided a little preview um, of the sound, and it does sound like 10 times better. It, it definitely is uh, an improvement that I can't wait to see like fully polished, and I can't wait to hear like the, the 250 and, and the 500cc and all that. So, I think that's going to be pretty cool. In the near future, we should be getting that. Maybe in the next patch or something like that. Uh, I got a feeling that this next patch, 1.07, is probably going to be fairly large. Um, just going to be adding a bunch of stuff. Like, fully polishing off the game and, and the, um, the online services. So, the next thing that I wanted to talk about, and this is like a good kind of segue, because we're talking about the online services right now, is the... Um, championships or the like series mode or whatever rank mode uh so i added on twitter in a comment that i would like to see you know the official series mode or ranked mode competitive mode whatever you want to call it and they liked and like retweeted um this guy i can't remember his name i'll probably have his stuff in the well actually i will have his stuff in the description below uh, i can't remember his name right now but they pointed me towards him uh he's got a website going you know he's been doing the series mode for a while and like it looked legit like it, it definitely looked pretty cool and legit um so i checked it out but sadly the only way that you could do it is if you were on playstation and so that kind of bummed me out <laughs> that kind of bummed me out because i'm on xbox and I talked to him about it, and he said he's definitely has plans to like move it over to Xbox and also like PC. But there is a fundamental flaw in the matchmaking, and that is you can't really do like an actual private lobby, and you can't control when the game actually starts. Uh, so if you guys are aware of this, you know you can't. What is that? What is that big like smoke streak? Wow, that's. Was that him? Holy mother of God. Okay, so if you guys aren't aware, like, you can't control when you start the lobby. So if one person joins in, it automatically starts within, like, uh, a minute and a half, two minutes or something like that. And a lot of people don't like that, especially for, like, series mode or, like, if you're trying to do a championship or whatever. Jesus Christ, these trees. Um, like, you want to get everybody in the lobby before you actually start it. And you want them to do, like, a couple practice laps and all that. And, you can, and that can't happen if... Uh, you know, you can't control when you actually start the lobby. And you also can't really, like, make it private. Um, I think it's, like, only friends only or something like that. But then, you know, whoever, Joe Schmo, could, could join in and then kind of mess it all up. Uh, so, there are a couple things that are still wrong with the multiplayer. I've also noticed that the amount of lobbies uh, sometimes are, like, you know, there's eight lobbies or whatever. And they're all, like, correct. You can, you can join all of them. But then other times it looks like the exact same thing that we had in 1.05 and oh wow I already won. Oh, that's the that's the waypoint. They added a little smoke thing for the waypoint. That's cool. I never noticed that. I haven't done waypoints in ages. Uh but sometimes with the lobbies, you know, there's eight lobbies in the lobby list that I can join and then other times there's like 20 lobbies that I just I can't even join one of them. So I don't know why that's still happening. Um I am getting supremely, supremely annoyed with the fact that I keep joining these different lobbies and I'm waiting for, you know, three to five minutes for the race to end. And then when it ends, 
the lobby either closes or the host just fucking leaves because he he didn't win or something like that it, that is supremely annoying to me and i i wish there was like a host migration sort of thing i know you could just say oh well why don't you make your own lobby you could get around that but it's like come on i i shouldn't have to like if i just want to join a lobby i don't want to have to go through all that and like pick out the races and then invite people and wait for people to join like i i just want to join a lobby that's like pretty full and then get racing but i can't even do that half the time because the host just leaves and it's uh, it's pretty annoying to be honest but that's what we got to deal with for the time being and uh Oh, it's another waypoint. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I'll get into actually uh, something better than this 350. Or not better, just like different um, for this waypoint. But the online, like it definitely has been improved, man. Like it definitely has been improved. And I'm, I'm really excited to see where this game is going. But there, there are still some fundamental flaws that uh, we need to get taken out before we can even start doing like championships and stuff like that. It, seriously. Uh, and that's kind of what people are waiting for i feel like uh, your game um as much as i love it and as much as i love playing it i i'm looking at it from like a like a normal person's perspective that really isn't involved with the series and there's not much replayability you know there's no system that tracks um your wins or anything there's no like you got the you got the leaderboards now which is great but they're not global so that you can't even see how you stack up against anybody else like uh, unless they're on your friends list and i don't really want to fill up my friends list with all the fast players if i'm never going to talk to them i would just want to use them for their score um so there are a few things that really need to be ironed out and a few things that really need to be added to the game in order for it to keep that like replayability but once those things are added i feel like this game is just going to to last for a, a very long time if they are regularly updating it regularly adding different like tracks and, and bikes and graphic kits and all that stuff i mean once they get over the initial like okay this is the the stuff that really needs to be added uh then they can just start adding like uh, graphic kits and, and small things like that and uh <coughs> i feel like the game would be fairly easy to run at that point but really got to get to that point before we can even start talking about it but I, I am liking where the game's going. You can't really rush these things because obviously it is a smaller team that is working on MX versus ATV and they will need uh, a bit more time. You know, I'm going on the YFZ. I've used it like three times. <laughs> I've used the old girl like three times. Uh, we definitely need a different outfit though. How's, how's outfit three sound? Sounds good to me. Where are we going? I don't even know where the waypoint is, where it starts. Oh, it's over there. Okay. But, I mean, this game, it, it definitely has a lot of potential. And I don't know if they're going to be releasing another one in, like, the next year or the next two years. Uh, hopefully, you know, it, it's... I don't know. I just... I don't want to see something rushed out the door. I want to see something that is fully complete, that really doesn't need too too much work uh that they really put a lot of time and effort into and the yearly release thing it works for some companies but this is a small company so uh i guess i would rather see like the two-year release if that means better quality i don't know i have no idea what i'm saying my bike isn't even revving what is what is this what's going on okay That was really weird. But, uh, I guess now it's time to talk about the channel. So, the channel, i it's actually going really well. I didn't really expect it to get the attention that it has. And I know some of you are going to look at it and be like, wow. <laughs> you, you think that's the tension. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, it's definitely pretty cool because I was getting, like, five views on some videos in the past. And now, um, you know, I'm getting hundreds of views on some videos. And it's pretty cool to like see that and see like all of you subscribing. So definitely want to thank everybody that has subscribed, has watched the videos, has liked them. Um, hopefully you guys got some use out of them. Wow, I'm trash. And I, uh, I hope that you are going to stick around and like the videos that I do come out with. I will start streaming at some point. I need to... What is going on? Get me out of this water. I will start streaming at some point. 
I don't know if it'll be on YouTube or Twitch. Probably be on Twitch. Um, but it probably will not be this game. Uh, really what I want to start streaming is Black Ops 4 um, Blackout mode so that I like Battle Royale. I was never a fan of Fortnite and never really a fan of PUBG. Like, I could take PUBG over Fortnite any day, but uh, I just was never... I never really liked either of them because they were both incomplete games. Like, they, they're literally beta games, and so they're not... They have glitches, they're not balanced, they're... It's just... I like games that are that are pretty much complete or that, with a little elbow grease, <laughs> can become complete like MX vs. ATV. And, uh, oh my god. Those games just need so much work, and I never got the hype behind them. Like, I never understood why everybody loved them and turned them into, like, their main game. Like, they have to play it religiously every single day, otherwise they're not going to have a good day. Um, I, I never understood that, but, you know, to each their own. But I am excited about Black Ops 4 and uh, their sort of Battle Royale mode. And so I really want to, in October... Uh, kind of transfer over to Black Ops 4 start making videos about that and streaming about that. So currently I do not have the internet to stream, uh, but hopefully by October I will have better internet and I will be capable to do that because I really do want to stream. I think it would be fun, um, connect with all of you guys, connect with even, you know, even more people, new people. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. And I feel like with YouTube, it's just not enough you know <laughs> like i want more of a challenge than than just youtube so um that's kind of the plan for for this channel like i'm definitely going to keep making mx versus atv videos up until then and probably after then if they're still adding content i don't know it, it, like if they're not still adding content then uh probably won't be making videos or too many videos about it um but definitely if they come out with a new mx versus atv stuff like that I'll be still making videos on that. So, MX vs. ATV is not going to leave the channel, per se. It's just going to be taking a break in October. Uh, unless, like, big content comes out, and then obviously i got to cover it. But, Black Ops 4 looks really, really cool. Um, when is this race going to end? This is, this is really weird. <laughs> I never play Waypoint. But, uh, yeah, Black Ops 4 looks really cool. I've always been into, like, the first-person shooters as well as racing games. Like, those are my two favorite games. And uh, Call of Duty, like, I know it's had its ups and downs, and it's been pretty shitty. Especially with World War II. Like, I didn't really like that game. But um, this one looks good, and it's not made by, like, Sledgehammer or whatever. It's made by Treyarch? No. Yes? I don't know. One of those guys that made Black Ops, and I like Black Ops. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I am pretty excited for that. That's kind of like the next step for this channel, the next step for Scrunt Gaming. <laughs> so, just wanted to kind of like get that out there, I guess. Um, but that's pretty much it, I, I think, for just like things that I wanted to talk about that were kind of on my mind. But uh, I, I think there was one more thing with MX vs. ATV that I wanted to talk about, but I'm, uh, I can't really remember it. I really can't. And the connection is timed out anyways. So I guess this is a good place to kind of end it. I mean, it's not too, too long of a video. Um, more of a personal video. This isn't really saying anything <laughs> or doing anything. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy it anyways. And if you did, make sure you uh, drop a like. And also remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more MX vs. ATV content. And, you know, in October, start seeing some Black Ops 4 content. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Peace.